In the last video, we discussed that in order to understand the idea generation process, first we must understand what happens in the human brain when we get a new idea. Once an idea is generated, we have a proven and controlled process that can be used to structure and nurture the ideas for a flawless business plan. Today, we will look inside this human brain and discover some amazing facts about this microscopic world. So let us get started right after this short intro. Hi everyone, just imagine, with so much advancement in technology, we have been only able to explore about 5% of the oceans, 1% of the universe and about the same amount of science and physics. When it comes to the understanding of brain functions, we know about the same. Although we have come a long way from removing a part of the brain to cure a mental illness, we still don't know a lot about it. For what we know so far, we can divide the understanding of human brain into two parts where one discusses how brain works and the other discusses how our memory works. The exploration of human brain begins when we look inside the human brain. The first thing that we see is three parts of brain called cerebrum, cerebellum and brainstem. Out of these three, we will only focus on cerebrum, which is a gift of nature to the human evolution. This is where we process and store all the complex information like emotions and memories. Looking at the cerebrum from the front reveals that it has two halves, left brain and right brain. Here the left brain is logical and analytical responsible for processing numerical and logical decisions and the right brain is creative and expressive is responsible for generating creative ideas process emotions and speech these two polar opposite functions of the brain develop a complex and unique concoction of ideas and behaviors that together make up our personalities now the generation of thoughts happens somewhere deep into the microscopic world of our brain, which is made up of tiny special cells called neurons. These neurons are firing and communicating with their neighboring neurons all the time. As we reach this microscopic world, we see that the neurons are packed very closely to each other. Their packing style is completely random, an amorphous structure as we call it in molecular science. To start understanding how our brain works, imagine a small group of three friends. These friends love sharing information and gossip among themselves. In the realm of brain, each friend is represented as a neuron. Each friend further has connections outside of this small group like friends and family. However, these three friends are comfortable and prefer to share information within this close group only. Outside communication is scarce. Even the cells of our brain have preferred communication partners which make up a closed circuit of cells. This group of cells tend to fire more often and produce a similar feeling or actions like cognitive and sensory actions within our body. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite their efforts to stay within their own circle, information tends to spread out because these friends get in contact with other friends and family as well. In the professional world, we call it grapevines or gossip. This happens in the brain because the cells are very closely packed. Sometimes they accidentally fire some new neurons. When these cells fire into new and random directions, our brain interprets them as new thoughts. Here the reason for misfiring can be anything from a chemical or hormonal changes or just a random firing due to lack of control. Just like grapevines can lead a story to varying details, everyone adds their own twist to the information. The information shared among neurons can differ from cell to cell. 
simply because we are biological creatures not mechanical there is a clear lack of control so these stories remain a mere narrative until someone takes the initiative to research organize the information with an intention to establish facts the key to transforming narratives into facts lies in the organization of the information logically it involves disregarding the false narratives and arranging the facts in a progressive sequence building upon the old facts by verifying the information we can either dismiss it as a myth or accept it as a fact just like researchers strive to uncover the truth now let us explore how the integration of these new thoughts and memories happen in our brain imagine one of the three friends in our friends group meet someone new and introduces them to the other two in our brain this introduction represents as the creation of a new neuron connection the potential for this new connection to become a permanent part of this group depends on two factors the frequency of their interactions and the emotional intensity of their first meeting at least one of these two conditions must be met similarly in our brain new neuron connections are reinforced through repeated firing or have an emotional value becomes more established and integrated all the newly generated thoughts are stored in our subconscious mind the subconscious mind is like a reservoir holding thousands of thoughts generated every second subconscious mind because these thoughts are very rapid and lack any structure hence hard to analyze by our conscious mind in real time to make sense of these thoughts our brain needs time to process and organize them this happens as we sleep when the hippocampus the memory center of our brain analyzes and evaluates these thoughts it selects which thoughts to retain and which to disregard those thoughts that are logically arranged on top of the old memories or hold an intense emotional connection have a higher chance of being retained logic plays a crucial role because our brain thinks progressively and logical thoughts are easier to recreate furthermore recreation of memories involve multiple parts of brain working together requiring more energy following the law of conservation of energy our brain prioritizes the thoughts that consume less energy adding the thoughts on top of the old memories save energy and provides a clear path to recall that memory emotions also play an important role in retention of the new thoughts when we feel emotions our brain produces chemicals and hormones these chemicals and hormones are released again when we tend to recall that memory facilitating the neurons to recreate that memory even if our thoughts have been integrated into our long term memory they are still volatile and prone to forgetting hence when dealing with sensitive thoughts we must keep some notes and apply memory management tools So what does it mean to integrate a new thought or a memory into our brain? It signifies the discovery of new neuron firing patterns, one that brings value or holds emotional connections. When these new neuron firing patterns are organized on top of the old memories and stored in permanent memory, we consider that thought to be completely integrated. Due to the time constraints today, We have only discussed how our brain works. In the next video, we will discover how memory works. If you like to learn more about these topics before we get a chance to make videos for them, you can find the article about double diamond model and memory management in the description below and on my web page. In the next video, we will discover how memory works. To stay connected, subscribe and support me on YouTube. Patreon and other social media platforms until next time learn to be brilliant with brilliant supply chain